Alright guys, we are back. So I changed my outfit and be looking like a badass. I'm gonna end this like a badass. Yeah. Final part, guys. Parts, whatever. I think. I think this is the end of the game. Yeah, it's gonna be one big part. Fuck it, right? Yeah. So let's do this. Fools! You thought you could conquer the Fortress of Darkness? Yes. Clyde, back away from that stuff. Oh, but I have yet to complete my army. You have come to witness the power of darkness. Stop! Clyde! You have no idea what that stuff is! Yeah, huh, it's green sauce from Taco Bell. I took it from their construction site. Dude, that's not Taco Bell sauce. Then why'd I find it at Taco Bell? It leaked out of a UFO, Clyde! It's toxic goo from another galaxy! Think about it! Since when does Taco Bell have a green sauce, dude? Actually, since about a year ago. What? Taco Bell has green sauce now. No way! They've had it longer than a year. I've always gotten spicy green burritos. Yeah, no, I'm saying in the packets. They just started putting green sauce in packets. The fuck? How the fuck did I miss it? Ha-ha! I don't seem so foolish now, do I? That doesn't mean you have Taco Bell green sauce green <laughs> sauce. Yeah, Clyde, why do you think that shit's glowing? Maybe because of the three varieties of chili peppers. Just give us a stick, asshole. Or what? You'll beat me up? Ha-ha! <laughs> I've got another surprise for you. Oh shit. Make love to you that guy's voice more. actor is dead. Uh -huh. Big pants. Get him, get him. <laughs> <laughs> they, just, they just recycled uh, old audio clips. Yeah, I know, like they did for his final episode when he left because they made fun of Scientology. No! Not his chocolate salty balls! His chocolate salty balls are good though. Oh my god. Please do not be immune. Oh my god. Well, fuck. he's got fire at least. He's just immune to bleeding. They just knew how OP it would be. Of course. Level 5 bleed with fire is just like instant win. Why'd I just give it to fucking god? Oh my god. Such a <laughs> so if you're immune to bleeding, then fuck it. We'll go with Stan. Why does everyone like you? You don't even talk. I am Stan Marshwalker, brother of wolves and badgers. Uh Ooh, damn! Damn! damn Let's fucking put a spatula in your ass right there. God damn! Seriously. Seriously. So everything I do, he's immune to. This is bad. What do you got? Like execute? Or no, no. I just can't do bleed. Right. Just attack him, man. Mm-hmm. At least take a pretty big chunk out of his HP. It's be pretty hard to survive this shit, though. Seriously. Probably start using the health. Oh yeah, speed and power dad, potions after the health potions, of course. That's so badass. I know, right? All right, cool. His defense is going down for that, at least. Defense. Right, kick ass. Yeah, I hope he doesn't attack Stan again, otherwise he's gonna die. No. Oh, no. Apparently he's channeling something. I don't know what, but you probably want to kill his ass when you still have the chance. Right. Use them speed potions. How is it that you stop a enemy from channeling you know? <coughs> I have no idea. I think I gotta oh. gross him out. I think you have to use farts. Yeah, I would say I think I gotta farts. 
You know what? Yeah, take a health potion before he fucking murders you. Probably sounds like a fucking meteor of balls or something. No! Oh no. god. No! Hit fast. It's probably a one hit KO attack. It looks like one. Oh my god, it died. Oh god. Children, what have I done? Chef, don't do it! <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh my god. Whew. That was scary. That's the coffee. You should be able to end this. Can I just take my turn? End it, Stan. Wait, Badass so attack. Bitch. Hey, steal. No, no. Got him. What is piece of promise is being a bent? He was already on fire, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Uh, what the uh, fuck just happened? He killed your ass, that's I know, happened. what the fuck just happened? I was pressing down. Wow. Oh, that's gay. Wow, that's gay as hell. Wow, alright. Didn't I save before we started? Yeah, you probably just want to jump cut till we beat him again. Yeah. Otherwise, this doesn't take like yeah, a million years. Yeah, we're just gonna years. jump cut to where we beat him. Ah, uh, fuck. We're right back. Enough of this. <laughs> Burn them. Huh. Burn them all. <sighs> oh, you're dragging. Oh, there we go. Huh. Man, of course, someone's car alarm goes off right then. Uh, okay. Um, you know what? I'm not playing anymore. You have broken the rules of the stick, and for that, I banish thee. I banish thee from space and time. Ah! We did it, dude. That was awesome. You did it. Your noble quest is at an end. And for all your deeds and all your time put into this, I hereby promote you to King Douchebag. Congratulations. King douchebag. Quickly, now let's get the stick back to safety before anyone can do. We got him. We have got the dragonborn. Dragonborn? What the? Who, what? So it really is the dragonborn. Just can't stop being a thorn in our side, huh? He has to stick a truth. How does this guy know you, King douchebag? King douchebag? Is that what you told him your name was? Why didn't you tell them your real name? Dovakin? You don't remember, do you? How we tried to find you? Look, that stick belongs with the fighters of Zaron. Give it back. Fighters of Zaron? Boys, what's going on here is much more complex than that. This isn't the first time a UFO has crashed to Earth. You see, in 1947, a UFO crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. Oh, God. Oh, brother, spare us. Hang on a sec. A UFO crashed in Roswell, and a new government agency was created to investigate the paranormal. Our agency. Can we skip this? Like, hit the skip button or something? Oh, you don't want to skip this. Yes, we do. Whenever aliens are spotted, vampires run amok, our agency is there, and we have never lost a fight. That is, until four years ago when we investigated a child. Yawn, yawn, yawn. A child who had an unnatural power inside him. I had orders from the president to secure the child so that we could harness his powers before our enemies could. But he slipped through our hands. The government wants the new kid for his farts? That's dumb. His farts? No. His amazing ability to make friends so quickly on any social network. Before he was five years old, he had 3.2 billion friends on Facebook alone. Do you have any idea the power that kind of gift yields in today's world? It's time to come with us, Dovahkiin. 
Time to stop resisting and use your gift for your country. Is he really still talking? Are we so different, <laughs> you and I, Dovahkiin? Oh my god. You have to do what the government tells you to do, just like me. We're all just pawns in their game. I'll admit you are fascinating. You have more power than any child I've ever come across, and yet all you seem to really care about is this. It must be very important. What does it do? Whoever controls the state controls the universe, dumbass. Yeah, stupid. Controls the... But then... I wouldn't have to do what I was told anymore. I could... <laughs> I control the universe! Get back! Back, I say, all of you! I can do anything! Anything I want! <laughs> I no longer need you, new kid! I control Ew. the universe! Oh my god. Ah! Uh -huh. uh, uh, damn thing! How does it work? Show me how it works! Yeah, right. Dovahkiin, why should we be on the opposite sides? Join me, Dovahkiin. Rule by my side. Rule. And you can have this all to yourself forever. I can offer you all! Just get me safely out of here! You can rule with this once again! You underestimated the character of the fighters of Zaron. What binds us is more than that relic. <coughs> and you failed to recognize the character of our alliance. Yes, and that friendship is more important to any of us than even the stick of truth. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> <gasps> Princess King! <laughs> At least one of you has some sense. You'd sell us all out? But why, Princess Kitty? Because Princess Kinney was born a half-orc, <laughs> whose entire village was wiped out by humans and elves. Morgan Freeman? You see, when humans and elves lived together in the forest of Hollow Falls, an elven queen fell in love with the orc known as Dandar, the first one to possess the Stick of Truth. They loved in secret and had a child. A beautiful little girl, a girl who watched as everyone she loved was killed in cold blood. And that is why she waited, and plotted, all this time, to take the stick from you. For Princess Kinney is true heir to the Stick of Truth. Wow, that's pretty cute. Just one thing, Morgan Freeman. How come every time something convoluted needs explaining, you show up? Because every time I show up and explain something, I earn a freckle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Princess Kinney, come back here! 